A special operation to curb kidnapping is on in Abuja following a spike in the crime. One of the strategies adopted by security forces is to identify and dismantle kidnapper camps. Sifon Asien reports. Kujay, one of six area councils in Abuja, is again grappling with a spike in kidnapping. Several persons have been kidnapped lately in communities within the area council, a situation which is causing residents a lot of worry. In an attempt to tackle the situation, the authorities commence a special operation whose area of responsibilities cover remote communities in Kuje. This primary school in Gaube serves as a super camp for security forces. From here, rapid deployments are made to contend with kidnappers who oftentimes wield assault rifles. On this day, we join the troops on a mission. One of the strategies they adopt is to identify and dismantle kidnappers' camps. The troops form up and set out on patrol. The terrain poses a great difficulty to the patrol vehicles. Troops on motorcycles find it a lot easier navigating the terrain. As troops advance, the terrain becomes even more tortuous. After almost four hours, we arrive at this river. We have traveled for several hours through the bushes and getting to this point is this river. And the troops are making every effort to ensure that they get their vehicles across the river. For them, is a task that must be done. It's a difficult task getting the patrol vehicles across the river. The patrol continues till we get to Sabu, where the troops take a breather. The locals are pleased to have the security forces in their village. So now, as you see this military people, soldier, how will they give you confidence? Yes, now, serious confidence. You want me to stay for you? Yeah, no. Yes. <laughs> serious. We mean it. We mean it. So we mean it. But they are worried about the increased activities of kidnappers around their community. Yes, serious challenge. Now, now only kidnappers, they don't leave us to leave our minds uh, too quiet. They don't stop us. They don't shoot one woman one for, for Chida for here. They next tomorrow. They don't see it out. He there for hospital the three times. They don't leave us for here. Even though they yesterday, even though tomorrow, we see there for here for that, uh, our near this village. Oh, yeah. The troops resume patrol. The mission to bust Kinapa's camp is still in view. <laughs> We arrived at a location where the next phase of the journey had to be on foot. The commander of the operation does a head count. We were told we had gotten close to one of the kidnappers' camp. We walked through lands. The journey then took us uphill. At this point, absolute silence is maintained. Finally, we arrive at the camp on the top of the hill after walking for almost one hour. The camp is deserted. No kidnapper or captive in sight. Only money wrappers suggesting ransom had been shared by those who operated at this camp. Other items include discarded biscuit wrappers, cigarette packs, and the remain of what is believed must have been used for cooking. We gather that this is not the first time the troops will be deserted camp. The troops again form up, and the journey downhill begins. The mission reveals the need to be more discreet in the operations. There are concerns that kidnappers may have had infants in the communities the troops went through. This talk about uh, uh, police, military, navy, C uh, NCDC, DSS, and immigration. We try to make sure that the area is very safe for everybody to stay. At the end of the day, the security forces are optimistic. Other missions will yield the desired lot. Sifon Isien, TC News, Kujie.